Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We're at Dell World 2014. Joining me in the studio today is Maurizio Davini. He is from the University of Pizza in Italy, I assume, right? Yes, in Italy. So what do you do there? What do you do there? I am the CTO of the IT Center of University of Pizza. Okay. It's a R&D center that uh, university devoted uh, to collaboration with uh, partners, industrial partners like Dell, for example, or Microsoft. Mm -hmm and uh, supporting research for the internal groups and for the collaborating groups at the university. So I'd assume in that environment there are a lot of different storage challenges that you have. I mean, obviously I know you're a, a Dell customer. Why don't you give us a little rundown on some of the Dell solutions that you're using today? Uh, on the Dell, on the Dell um, storage side we have uh, plenty of solutions. In the sense that uh, two years ago uh, we were in charge of designing a software solution for a, a medical uh, research institute doing an MR. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, decided to go for ISCASI Equal Logic. Okay. So we have enough money, also thanks to Dell uh, support, to buy a big Equal Logic installation, 750 terabytes. Wow. That is used for storing medical images. Okay. Then we have another ISCASI Equal Logic installation around 100 terabytes uh, to support a genomic institute that is doing, start doing research in PISA. Okay. When we have some other uh, solutions based on PowerVault, we are doing sort of research in the software-defined storage. So we are using uh, storage spaces for Microsoft on Dell hardware mm -hmm. or Nexenta. Okay, and it, so it sounds like if I did my math real quickly there, you've got almost a petabyte of Equalogic storage and it sounds like a, a fair amount of power uh, storage. Over, overall in our center we have over a petabyte okay. of Dell storage. And, and so it sounds like a lot of the challenges you're facing is just storing these sort of larger format data types. You talked about the genomics data and the medical images. Is that one of the big challenges that you guys face today? Um, the Ecologic installation has been a, 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 good, uh, a good choice for us. Okay. It's uh, uh, so flexible that we can use for any kind of storage, from uh, long-term storage to uh, an uh, online analysis, because we have uh, several configurations. We have SATA, but also we have hybrid equal logic with SSD and SAS. Right. So you could use it for real-time type of computation uh, as well yeah. as long-term archive? Yeah. Okay, great. So then if you kind of look out in the future, what, what do you have next on the uh, plate for, you know, both as far as projects go and maybe things you're looking at to, to Dell to provide? Uh, what, one of our Next project, really very near, is uh, an implementation of a uh, big data solution mm -hmm. based on uh, Dell hardware and uh, Hadoop okay. uh, in a collaboration with Dell and Cloudera to start uh, deploying uh, uh, big data solutions. And then we are looking into the new component, SC4020. The new low and uh, the yeah. entry level all flash array? The entry level of flash array to understand how it can be used in our environment. Okay, well let's talk about the big data uh, project for a second. What, what type of data are you going to be crunching? What are you looking for as results there? Uh, no, it's different. Uh, we are trying to introduce big data inside uh, the curriculum of the university. Okay. We work strictly with the computer science department. Okay. And we are trying to introduce uh, uh, big data system analysis uh, or big data administration inside the masters and curriculum to, uh -huh. to form a new generation of data scientists right. or a system administrator for uh, big data systems. So to really to teach people how to administer and manage a big yeah. data implementation. I, yeah. that, that, I could see that that could be a very valuable thing as, as you know, regular commercial organizations start to implement big data solutions, right? We, we, we will do this kind of activities in, uh, together with our partner Dell, uh, Cloudera, and uh, some uh, industrial partner who want to leverage uh, big data research on their data. Mm -hmm. So we want to help them uh, doing their business. Okay. 
Uh, anything else on the plate? They, anything else on the horizon for you guys that you have? Uh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, let's leave it there. A lot. A lot. We are. Uh, uh, you have seen this morning the announce of FX2 right. from Dell. We have them uh, available in our lab for from February. Okay. And we have a VDI solutions implemented on it. Okay. So one of the things that we are thinking to do is to expand our VDI offer. Okay. Based on Dell VivoSpace, uh, FX, uh, hardware, and some kind of storage where you have to decide probably the C4020 fresh array. Yeah, that would be an ideal uh, combination there, you would think. Uh, and, and is the VDI going to be more for students or faculty or a little bit of both? Uh, in general, what we, we appreciate, appreciate on, the, on the, the Dell VDI offer is the possibility of going in mobility. So the WeWorks Space solution uh, can be used either for staff or, or for students. Okay, well, great. Oh, well, Maurizio, thanks very much for joining us on the set today. Yeah. I'm George Crump. Thanks for joining us.